Another interesting recursive problem is the string permutation problem. Calculating the possible permutations of a string can be confusing. In this video, we will explain that in more detail. But wait, wait. What if I don't understand what recursion is? If you are not sure what recursion is, we have explained that in deep detail in a previous video. Click on the link that will appear at the top to watch it. Now let's get to our problem. Problem says, given a string, print all possible permutations of that string. But first of all, what does permutations of a string mean? Permutations of a string means generating all possible words that could be formed using the characters in the provided string. For example, if the string is AB, possible words would be AB and BA. If the string is ABC, possible combinations would be ABC, ACB, BAC, CAB, BCA, and CBA. But how did we form these different combinations? In other words, what did we do to realize that these are all the string combinations of the string ABC? Let's stick with the three character example ABC. What we want to do here is to generate all the possible variations where the character A is at the beginning of the word, then all the variations where A is at the middle of the word, and the ones where A is the last character in the word. Here is the algorithm that we can use to achieve that. We start from character A. Swap the character A with itself. This means changing nothing in the string. We have now ABC. Then swap the character A with B. We get BAC. Then we swap the A with C. We get CBA. Now we are done with the first character. We got all the possibilities of swapping it with the other characters. Now we will shift one character. So we will start from the second character at this level. Again, we will swap the character with itself. So swapping B with itself, we get ABC. Then we swap B with T, we get ACB. Here we start from the second character A and we swap it with itself. Result is BAC. Then we swap A with the character C, we get BCA. And here we swap B with itself, result is CBA. Then you swap it with the A, result is CAB. Now we are done with the second character. We move to the third character. And since it is the last character in the string, this means that we already reached our solution. Our solution is basically the last level here. Cool, till now that's all right. But why is this problem eligible for a recursive solution? First, the solution of the main problem is the collective solutions of its subproblems. In the algorithm, we begin at the first character, then we generate all the permutations from swapping that character with itself and with the following characters. Then we shift to the next character and do exactly the same thing. We generate all permutations of swapping that character with itself and with the following characters and so on. So we are doing the same thing every time, with the exception that we shift to the next character every cycle. And the results of these, when put together, they will form our solution. Second, we have a stopping point. It is when we reach the end of the string. It could be a little challenging at first glance to determine whether our problem is recursive or not. But as we discussed earlier, recursion is a muscle. The more you train it, the easier it will be for you to sense the pattern within the solution. But this will hopefully be more obvious when we write down the solution shortly. Now let's dive deeper into the solution. Let's start putting the building blocks together to form our solution. Our first block will be a function that swaps a character with another character in a string. This will be used in our solution as we showed earlier. The function should accept three parameters, the string, and the two indices of the characters in the string that we want to swap. The function will return the string after swapping the two characters in it. We start by creating a temp character which we will use later for swapping. We convert our string to a character array using the toCarArray function. Then we do a normal character swap. We store in the temp variable the character at the index i. 
set the character at index i to the character at index j then we set the character at index j with the character in temp pretty common swapping algorithm at the end we convert the character array back to a string and return it now let's build our recursive function let's call it calculate this function will also accept three parameters the string that we need to generate the permutations for the left index and the right index wait 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 what are these left and the right indices these indices determine the starting and ending points of the string the left index will keep increasing pointing to the current character at which we will need to swap at each recursive cycle the right index points to the end of the string the picture will be clearer in a few moments when we put down the whole solution first we start as always with the base case if left equals right then print the string this means that we reach at the end of the string in other words we have replaced the current character represented by the left index up until the end of the string which is represented by the right index in this case we have reached a solution to our problem so we print that solution otherwise we loop from i equals left up until i is less than or equals to right first we swap the character at index left with the character at index i this means to swap the current character with itself and at the next iteration to swap the current character with the next one and so on this is exactly what we demonstrated earlier when we laid down the algorithm tree then we recurse starting from the next character to do exactly the same thing for the next character in the string now one small thing is missing which is the main function we create string s with the value abc integer n to contain the length of the string then we instantiate permutations class and call the function calculate with our string s 0 for the left and n minus 1 as right this means we are going to calculate permutations for the whole string and that's it if you examine the implementation carefully what we are doing here is the following we check if left equals right this means we reach at the end of the string and nothing more to do so we add the current variation to our solution by printing it out otherwise we loop from the first character going until the last character in the string and by first character here i mean the first character at the current recursive cycle not necessarily the first character in the string remember each recursive cycle we move one character to the right each iteration will swap that character first with itself then with the other characters coming after it in the string and we recurse by starting from the next character to do the same thing but starting from the next character this is exactly what we did when we drew up the algorithm tree earlier now let's run the solution as you can see we have the expected permutations of the string abc printed out but wait i don't find a purpose for the third parameter here it does not change at all throughout the program we could have calculated the length of the string and spared ourselves one unnecessary parameter hmm this is completely true but we have it just in case we wanted to operate only on a slice of the string for example to calculate permutations of the first two characters of the string in this case we will pass one as the value for right no i'm not convinced me neither anyway good point fanto we can definitely get rid of it if we like now let's talk about the time complexity of this solution it would be great if you pause the video now and try to guess the time complexity yourself you have three seconds to do that if you like the time complexity here is factorial n and n here is the number of characters in the string but how did we calculate that let's start with one character suppose our string contains the character a in this case the number of permutations we could generate is just one which is the character a that's easy now building up on that if the string is a b 
The number of permutations here consists of putting the character B in all the possible positions in each permutation we have for the string with the character A. This means having B one time before A and one time after A. This gives us the strings AB and BA with a total permutation number of 2. Now if our string becomes ABC, again, to calculate the number of permutations, we need to add the character C at all the possible positions, and that is for each permutation we have for the string AB. So we end up with CAB, ACB, ABC, and CBA, BCA, BAC. If we added the character D, we will end up with 24 different permutations. This is because we have to add the D at each possible position for each of the permutations we already have for ABC. We have 6 permutations for the string ABC, and the character D can possibly be in 4 different positions. It can be the first character, the second character, the third character, or the fourth character. 6 multiplied by 4 equals 24. From that point, we can now devise that the number of permutations of a string with the length n equals to the multiplication of number of permutations of the string without one character, so permutations of n minus 1, multiplied by how many possible positions that character can be positioned in these permutations, which is equal to n. Using the same rule to calculate permutation n minus 1, we will end up with n minus 1 multiplied by permutations n minus 2, and so on. So the complexity here will be equal to n multiplied by n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 2, and so on until we multiply by 1. And we will reach number 1 at the end because we already know that the permutations of a string that has one character will always equal to 1. This is our base case. And this basically means factorial n. Finally, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Make sure to click on the notification button to be notified every time I publish a new video. And thanks for watching.